Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a GFX thumbnail for YouTube videos. These are some of the thumbnails that I've made, for example. In this tutorial, you would need three softwares. You would need Blender. Blender is used for rigging your avatar slash character. You would also need Roblox Studio to get the textures and the accessories for your Roblox GFX. And for the editing software, you would need Photoshop, Photopea, or Paint.net. They're basically all the same thing. For this tutorial, I'll be using Photoshop though, because I'm most comfortable with it. All the stuff inside this video are in my Discord server linked in the description. You can also join to ask for help or ask for some assets for GFX thumbnails. Just a reminder that all the stuff in the video are free and safe to use. And before the video starts, please join my Roblox group link in the description. The first step is to download Blender. I use the Windows version of Blender because I have a Windows computer, but you can use anything like Linux. You also need a decent computer to run Blender, by the way. The second thing you want to do is download Roblox Starter Rigs. The tip option is completely optional for you. You do not need to tip anything. You can just put zero. For the email part, you don't have to put in your real email. You can put in whatever. It doesn't really matter because you're not paying for anything. So just continue. Then you would want to download both of these files, both the Roblox Starter Rig and the Face file. You would need these for later. The next step is to go into Roblox Studio and download the Roblox files for your textures and accessories. I will be using the plugin Load Characters by RD Pro. The plugin is fairly simple to use. All you have to do is paste your Roblox username into the search bar. And make sure your spawn at origin is ticked on because it will save a lot of time later on. And also spawn it in R6. If you spawn it in R15, it will break the whole thing. To check where the character is, check origin position and make sure it's at 010. You can paste anything from the Roblox toolbox. I pasted a diamond sword from Bed Wars, but you can paste in any type of prop you want. To save this to your computer, you will need to go into Explorer. Right click your character and export selection. Remember when you're saving the textures, put it in different folders each time because if you don't, it will be mixed up with other textures that you have on your computer. Now do the exact same thing you did with your character but with the diamond sword this time. So export selection and then save it somewhere. The next step is to download Blender Lightroom. Once you have Blender Lightroom installed, just open it and it will open up Blender. To move around, use a middle mouse button and click the checkered ball in the top right corner to enable textures. Then you would want to go to Edit, Preferences, and then search up Roblox Starter Rig or just Roblox. Press the file and then press install. I already installed it so I just have to take it on. Then on the right side, something should pop up named starter rigs. For my character, it's a blocky avatar so I'm using the blocky rig. But you can use whatever you want like the woman or man rig. And to get textures onto your avatar, click the head and then go to the top and select shading. Then you will pop up with some loads. Go to main textures, press the X and then open a new file and then select your Roblox textures that you would be using. And to add faces, go down to the face node and then press the X and then open a new file. Then you would want to find the Roblox HD faces. Once you open the folder, you would have a wide selection of faces that you could use. You could choose any face, but I'm going to be using the Faithful Vampire face. Once that is done, go back to layout. Next, you would want to open file, import, and then Rayfont OBJ Legacy. Then you would want to do is go to the folder where you got your texture file and then select the .obj file. The other file will not work for this. Once you selected it, open geometry and then press split by group. This will import your Roblox character. To move it around, select the move tool, hold control on your keyboard and then move it up. This will perfectly align it with your other rig. Go to the sidebar area and find the parts that have your username in it. Select all of them and then press X on your keyboard to delete it. Then press the little gear icon at the top. Right now you are in object mode but you need to go into pose mode. So go to the top and select pose mode. Once pose mode is on, you could select anything on the body and then move it around. But the accessories will not be connected to your body yet. To connect the accessories to your body, you will have to select both of them. And then go to the little orange ring at the top of your head, click it, and then press shift plus P. Then bone it to the rig. As you can see, when you move the head, the accessories will move with it. Now to add your prop, you have to go back to file, import, and then rayfont.obj. Then select your folder where your prop is. And 
now I'm just going to align it with my hands. Just a reminder that you can bone anything to any part of your body, not just your head. This is a little quick timeless of me posing for the GFX. I changed my mind about the face and then I deleted it by clicking the head and then pressing X. Once you're done posing, you will have to change your camera. So click the camera icon at the top right corner and then press view navigation and then walk navigation. Now using WASD and your mouse, move around the camera. This camera position will be your final product for when you're rendering the image. And to exit out of the camera, just click and you will be exited out. At this point, I'm just adding some final touches to my pose. The next step is to click the other spear so you can see the lighting changes. Make sure you are back in object mode. Now scroll up until you find the light panels. Select the lights and you can change the color and light strength to your liking. This is a quick time lapse of me just changing the lights. And to add gloss to your items, select the items and then up the metallic and lower the roughness. The gloss is not optional, you could just save it how it is. And to add gloss to your body, go back to shading, go to the side node and then up the metallic. And just play around with the settings until you get what you like. Now to render the image, press render and then render image. Now wait for your image to fully render. At the top there is a sample number and wait for it to be complete. Once the rendering is complete, press image and then save as. Afterwards, put the image into Photoshop and now you can just start making your thumbnail. This would just be a time lapse of me making the thumbnail. Make sure to add shadows to your characters or else it would look unnatural. For shadows, I just use a black brush and then I lower the opacity. For the borders, I just add a black outline and then change the layer to overlay. Now I'm going to import some seahorses that I got from the Roblox Bedways wiki. For the lightning, you just put it at random and then erase it to make it look right.
Once you're done with the thumbnail, up the vibrance on your picture so it pops out the colors. And that's pretty much all the steps to make a GFX for your thumbnails. If this video helped, please like the video and share it to somebody. And remember to join my Discord server for all the links.